Hello everyone, I'm Roy Cantu and welcome to McAllen Minutes. If you missed our City Commission meeting on May 22nd, here's a quick rundown of the items we covered. The meeting kicked off with the swearing-in ceremony for six newly elected and returning commissioners for both the McAllen City Commission and the McAllen Public Utility. Newly elected commissioners J.J. Zamora and Omar Quintanilla took their place on the dais for the first time. Incumbent Commissioner Richard Cortez, who ran unopposed, will be serving his second term. McAllen Public Utility Trustees Charles Amos and Ernest Williams also were re-elected to another term. Mayor Jim Darling was elected to his second term in office. We want to make sure uh, the bridge development is probably uh, top of my list right now um, because in the peso, I think it's I, hopefully it's a temporary situation. We can't count on that, so we need to look at other sources of income. Obviously, the bridge is one that's uh, very important to us. The McAllen City Commission also recognized outgoing City Commissioner Trey Pebley at the city meeting for his years of service as City Commissioner. A proclamation was held in his honor. I would just like to say that uh, it's been a great honor uh, to serve the citizens of McAllen for uh, 12 years, uh, you know, starting out on the Public Utilities Board uh, for eight years and then on the City Commission uh, for four more. It's been a great honor. Uh, I'd just like to let everybody know that uh, there's a great staff here at City Hall and throughout the city, great police force, great fire department, and uh, you know, we're, uh, we're on the right track. During the meeting, commissioners reviewed the process for the development of the new master plan for the McAllen Parks and Recreation Department. The City of McAllen Parks and Recreation Master Plan was last developed in 2012. The department will be hosting town hall meetings and conducting an online survey to get input from citizens of all ages to help develop the strategy. The City Commission also authorized awarding multiple service contracts for mowing weedy lots. This service is used when city staff must mow or clean the property because of overgrown weeds and grass. Property owners could face a possible citation and cost to clean up. Citizens will also see a new and improved McAllen International Airport whenever they fly in and out of the airport, as commissioners approved landscaping and irrigation improvements at the facility. UTRGV students will have an opportunity to work at the McAllen Public Library this summer. Thanks to commissioners approving a federal work-study agreement with the educational institution. Finally, commissioners also received an update on various parks projects during the city manager's report. The presentation focused on the youth baseball complex, which is scheduled to be complete by October. This has been a quick recap of our McAllen City Commission meeting. Meetings are set for the second and fourth Monday of each month. We also air the entire meeting on the McAllen Cable Network on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at these times. We are always looking for citizen volunteers. If you're interested in joining the City Advisory Board, simply reach out to the McAllen City Secretary's Office at 681-1020. That is a look at your McAllen Minutes. For the City of McAllen, I'm Roy Cantu.